So you are trying to manifest a new relationship there. Um, you know, you've got this Two of Cups over here, so there might be an offer that comes in for you. You might have met somebody that you've got a really close connection with. Uh, maybe you've worked with this person in the back, but you're having a lot of communication with this particular person. There's a coming together card over here, so um, you know you are, are on the same page. Uh, if you haven't met this person, then this person is definitely coming in for you. You're on the same page, you have the same goals in mind, you have had the same experiences, almost similar experiences really. Um, so you're connect on quite a deep level, and there's a lot of companionship as well as love. Uh, that is coming out of this particular relationship. So you have been working pretty hard to manifest this new relationship as well. And there's a throat chakra act, um, activated over there, so you are speaking your truth. And like I said, there's a lot of communication that is happening with this particular person over here. So maybe a lot of messages going back and forth between the two of you. So this might have been somebody that you knew in the past, because this, this is simply love, this is the Six of Cups. Uh, maybe somebody from your childhood, somebody you've had worked with in the past, but this is somebody uh, that you've definitely known in the past. You've got the Hanged Man over here, so things seem to be still not moving on as quickly as you'd like. You've got, uh, you know, um, trying to um, make things happen, but they seem to be a bit stuck right now. So uh, maybe things aren't happening quite the way you want it, uh, and not um, the energy seem to be a bit uh, stuck over there. So you may have met this person, but maybe they haven't made any uh, kind of... Um, effort to actually hurry that situation on and there's still a lot of communication going on between you. Maybe you're still discovering each other. Uh, maybe this is a, a relationship that's taking its time um, to actually, um, you know, uh, develop into something deeper. So you've got the, um, the move card, which is the chariot card over here, and you've got the spread your wings. So uh, it, it looks like things are going to start moving along with the chariot. So, uh, you know, you, it, you all are coming together there. So things may have been stuck for a little bit over there, but this communication now opens up for you. And it looks like uh, with the chariot card, you can see the two hands in each other there and knots being tied over there. So this is developing to something deeper, a, a more meaningful relationship, a very, mu very much a love relationship. You could be even moving in together because this is the chariot card. It's ruled by cancer. It's about a home. So maybe setting up a home together over there. So it's, this is a, a choice that you are going to be facing and how you want to let, make this relationship move forward. Uh, so, you know, you could be moving in together. You've got a, a decision to make whether you want to move in with this person and set up home with them or you want to remain single. So you are at a crossroads over there with the spread your wings. So maybe leaving behind an old um, you know, way of life and starting off afresh there with the move card. So both these cards got an open road. You might even be taking a trip together or traveling together as well with this chariot card. Uh, but there's def definitely some kind of big decision that you have to make soon with regards to this relationship, um, you know, how you want it to proceed. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm going to draw some cards from the uh, Botticelli deck for the main read. Okay, so you've got the Devil card over here, and below it is the Nine of Cups, so um, there might be a bit of codependency involved in this particular relationship. You might be in, uh, feel as though you're being manipulated um, and being very, very much controlled. Maybe this person is trying to uh, prevent you, uh, you know, from um, enjoying your freedom. Because Sagittarius loves his freedom and any kind of, you know, the, the devil card usually has uh, the, the couple sitting uh, in chains and keeping secrets from the couple, hiding the light. The devil, um, you know, this might, this might be how you're feeling. Maybe you're feeling as though you're, you're chained to this particular relationship that you're in. Uh, and maybe you feel um, as though you don't have your freedom to do what you like. Um, You've got the Nine of Cups below it, so it might be that you're trying to, you know, maybe this person um, restricts you from getting together with your friends. 
So they might be a bit jealous of, uh, you know, you getting together with friends or family, you know, socializing. And maybe this is where they exert their control or they try to manipulate you or control you. And this is not going down too well for you. Um, and you've got the star card over here. So, you know, you do, um, you know, you, you rely a lot on your friends for advice, uh, to give you inspiration, to tell you what to do. And maybe this person doesn't particularly like that. They try to control, um, you know, um, who you meet, who you speak to. And this is not something that you're not too keen on. Now, it seems like you want to make a brand new beginning over there with a fool. Maybe because of this restriction or this control, maybe this is what you're thinking of doing. You're thinking of actually uh, letting go of this relationship, leaving it behind and walking off from it because it is far too controlling. So that could well be the case. Now, uh, you've got the hangman over here. So things are not really moving on very quickly within the relationship. Things to, seem to be stuck. You all seem to be stuck in a particular phase, a little bit at a standstill over there. And, uh, you know, things are not quite going, going quite the way you wanted it to as well. It seems like you're making a lot of sacrifices for the relationship, but nothing is, being, is coming to, um, back to you. You're not receiving any rewards. And you are at a point now where you're trying to make a decision. You've got the two of wands over here. Whether to stay in that relationship and put up with whatever is going on, or to actually leave the relationship and get your freedom, maybe freedom to travel, freedom to meet more people as well. So you are reaching a bit of a crossroads over there, uh, and maybe it's because this particular person is trying to control you quite a bit. Because it's the devil card, uh, you know, this could well be even uh, you're dealing with uh, Capricorn energy, uh, but this person is pretty much uh, controlling, pretty manipulative. So what's in your mind? You've got the Ace of Wands. So it looks like you are seriously thinking of um, moving on, uh, starting something brand new. There might be somebody else that you're attracted to with that Ace of Wands. But the Ace of Wands is wanting to start something new, wanting your freedom, uh, wanting to be able to meet a lot more people, and even wanting to travel there with that Ace of Wands. Uh, so going to the future, you've got the Six of Wands. So, uh, you know, it looks like, you know, you'll be able to overcome any problems within that relationship. Whatever arguments and fighting or difficulties that are going on, it looks like, you know, you're rising above it. This is the card of victory. You can see in the background over there, the path is quite open over here. So, you know, whatever happens within the situation, I mean, you, it seems like you're going to put behind all these uh, problems or difficulties and move on. Uh, to something, maybe you're going to even end up leaving the relationship and moving on. Whatever the situation is, whatever battles are going on, you certainly are victorious about it. But because this woman is flying through the air, it's almost as though you're going to be taking off or leaving this particular relationship behind or leaving the problems behind and moving on. And you've got that full card over here making a brand new start somewhere else. So you are at some kind of choice uh, situation over here. There seems to be somebody that is giving you some kind of advice. Uh, but it looks like maybe you're going to end up leaving this relationship and moving on. Um, you can see this person leaving uh, that um, man on the ground and moving on. This is the card of a breakdown of communication. Uh, it's about you know being a little bit heartbroken as well. But it looks like you know even if this person is begging you to come stay with them, you might end up. Um, walking away from that relationship because there's too much of manipulation and control that is going on. Maybe this you person uses emotional blackmail uh, in order for you to, uh, to keep you within that relationship and all the while controlling who you speak to, who you communicate with, uh, you know, and this is something that you're not willing to put up with, it seems. You, um, you know, it it seems like you prefer to actually go your own way with that hermit card. So this is about uh, leaving things behind and moving on uh, and following your own path, uh, not really uh, really too concerned about uh, what uh, happens to that particular person. So it looks like you might end up leaving this particular relationship and going your own path uh, with that hermit card. Hopes and fears, you're worried about security, financial loss, uh, you know, you're worried about feeling lonely. You don't like feeling lonely. You don't like feeling left out of situations. Uh, and, you, you know, you don't like feeling insecure. And maybe this is what this relationship is doing to you at this particular moment. So going to the future, the final outcome, you've got the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Nine of Wands. Ace of Cups, this is about, you know, um, looking after your own, making a brand new start over there. You've got that uh, Ace of Cups. Now, the Ace of Cups could be about the birth of a baby because you can see there's a baby over there. This could be a child coming in. Maybe the relationship, maybe you're having a child or there might be news of a child, a birth of a child. 
So let's put that aside. But this could also be about you uh, getting a new offer, something that comes in. So maybe a new relationship on offer there for you. Uh, even even here, you've got this uh, Ace of Wands. So this could be a new person that um, is of interest to you, and maybe you are more emotionally connected to that particular person. The Ace of Wa uh, Cups is also about uh, you know wanting your own emotional fulfillment, your own emotional satisfaction, which you don't seem to be, be getting from this relationship, and wanting to make a brand new start and brand new emotional start. So maybe letting go of this particular relationship. And it seems like, you know, this might well be the case because you've got the Ten of Wands followed by the Nine of Wands. So you're finding that it's quite a burden. You're having to defend yourself all the time in, you know, uh, all the while. There's a lot of conflict that is going on. It's causing you to feel very exhausted, very tired, uh, uh, tired, very tired, rather. You're looking at the past and you're looking at all the, the battles that you've fought with this person. And I think you're making a decision and you're deciding whether or not it is actually worth your while. So, you know, it seems like you're moving on from it. You're standing up for yourself for sure. You're very defensive as well because you've had to fight so many battles over there. And I think you may have had enough and you want to make a brand new start somewhere else. Uh, something uh, that is much more emotionally fulfilling, maybe a lot more freedom as well within that new relationship. So it looks like you're going to be letting go of this, rising above all those problems that you've been having and moving on. Um, so whatever's going on over there, it seems almost as though you've decided to go your own way with that hermit card over there. And even if this person begs you to reconsider, it doesn't seem like you're really that interested uh, on in pursuing this particular relationship any further because there's too much of uh, stress, uh, there's too much of fighting, there's too much of conflict, and there's just too much of problems. You're putting a lot of effort into it and there's not any rewards from it and it's just tiring you out so it seems like you want to make a brand new start so i'm just going to draw some cards from the archangel power tarot and the first one is epiphany and it says joy through uh, spiritual growth uh, be a light to others answers that come through uh, meditation so this is the hermit card so this is going your own way following your own light following your own joy uh, and you've got it twice over there so it looks like you're going to break off and move on um, your own path uh, it seems like you prefer to be alone rather than with somebody that is controlling you there. And maybe you're going to be focusing more on your career as well. There's certainly an aha moment that comes in for you that makes you make that decision. You've got the uh, four of Gabriel over here. So this is time for a um, celebration and abundant rewards from hard work. Release yourself from a burdensome situation. So it looks like you are uh, looking for your freedom. Uh, the Four of Wands is a, you know, a, a card where you're getting together with a lot of people, doing a lot of travel, and uh, you know, getting rid of all the burdens. It says release yourself from a burdensome situation. So you, you know, it looks like you want to get out there and you want to socialize a lot more, and this person is very restrictive of that, and you're not willing to put up with that anymore. You've got the Five of Ariel over there, which is the Five of Pentacles. So you needn't go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. So you are afraid of being alone, and you you do um, you know feel um, will feel that loss. You will feel that loss of this relationship. But I think you are making a decision. You're weighing up the options about uh, having to stay stay there and be controlled in this particular situation, or needing to spend more time with friends. Maybe right now in this particular relationship. This, this person is so controlling uh, that they're not allowing you, because this is about feeling left out of the, in the cold. They're not allowing you to uh, get together with the friends that you want to be with. And this is making you feel miserable and it's making you feel alone and very isolated, you know, almost left out in the cold. So, you know, you're feeling as though, uh, you know, maybe life is passing you by because you're not allowed that freedom of being able to speak to who you want to or socialize with whom you want to. And you're not happy about that. So this is the reason why you want to cut your ties and move on. So it looks like you've made a decision already and uh, it seems like you have had enough you're considering new relationships, considering somebody else, uh, you know, opening yourself up for something brand new to come in as far as a relationship goes. You want to make a fresh start because whatever's been going on, that's the ten of us, the end of that cycle, you are so tired of all the struggle and all the fight um, and, you know, all, all the times that you've had to defend yourself uh, and you, uh, you want to move on. You can see that six of wands 
rising above all the problems and moving off, flying off, really. So it looks like you are about to leave this particular situation, and you're not really willing to take, you know, to give this person a chance, a second chance, because maybe you've had enough. So I hope that this reading has resonated, uh, and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, uh, and all the best. Thank you so much for watching.